Imam Ali says in Najal Balaga, people are at first divided into two categories, the worldly and the otherworldly. The worldly people are again divided into four groups. In the first group are put those who are meek and tractable like sheep. They are the most innocuous of creatures, never seen to commit any overt injustice or aggression, or covert deceit or subversion. Not that they detest such things, but because they lack the power and daring to carry them out. To the second category belong those who possess both the power and the daring to carry out such ambitions. They muster their will to amass money and wealth, to acquire power and authority, or to occupy important posts and offices, and do not stop short of any degree of perverseness. Those belonging to the third group are wolves in the skins of sheep. They are slaves of the world in the garb of the otherworldly and the pious, they, sanctimoniously, hang their heads in affected humility, walk with the slow steps of a sage and dress like the devout. Through their hypocrisy they win the confidence of the people and become their most confident trustees. To the fourth group belong those whose hearts burn regretfully with the fire of ambition, but their feeling of inferiority has forced them to retire to seclusion. They put on the dress of piety and asceticism in order to conceal their deep sense of inferiority and dejection. All the four kinds of people, regardless of the diverse degrees of their success and failure, are regarded by Ali to constitute, spiritually, a single class on account of their commonly shared attitude, worldliness. Why? because all of them have one common characteristic. They are like the unfortunate birds whom the world has made its prey one way or another. Captured, they enjoy no longer the freedom of flight. They are slaves and prisoners of the world.